Baron Corbin wins money in the bank. Um, to sum up pretty much this pay-per-view, the, the actual core somewhat matches were somewhat good. But my god, was the finishes terrible. Um, some of the matches were quite boring. Um, the main event itself, the match itself, was actually pretty decent. Um, the only problem was really the finish. Um, I don't think Baron Corbin should win Money in the Bank. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, whether, you know, it's make or break time for him really pretty much, you know, whether he's going to be a good heel We'll have to wait and see. Um, things that I've seen about him in the past, I haven't been somewhat impressed, to be very brutally honest with you. Um, but we're going to go through the entire card right now and what my thoughts are. N to be honest, I, I, I do believe that the, the main event, the finish was terrible. Um, the women's, especially the, the women's um, match, the match itself was actually decent enough. You know, it wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It was decent. The end, however, for the women's match was atrocious. It was terrible. Um, and I've seen people use excuses like people are worked up over this for nothing and stuff like that. But come on. Um, it was a predictable finish. You know, um, I just felt as if they would have done something different. It just it, taking the briefcase and throwing it to someone, it's a bit... <sighs> It's a bit corny. Pretty corny. To sum up his pay-per-view, it was pretty corny. Um, the Hype Bros defeated Epico and Primo. Um, didn't watch it. I don't really give a fuck about the pre-show. Um, Carmella defeated Charlotte Flair, Natalia, Tamina, Becky Lynch, and she now has money in the bank. Um, all in all, this the match itself actually wasn't I th surprisingly decent, um, but the ending was just terrible. Um, it was atrocious, to be honest. Uh, I have no idea why <laughs> why they put that in there, but I just thought it was completely atrocious and absolutely terrible. Um, the New Day defeated the Usos via countout. This was disgusting. Um, the fact a countout shouldn't happen on a pay per view. Sorry for anyone, but this match was 12 minutes long, and for the end of the count out, was, it was disgusting, terrible, um, atrocious. And I know a lot of people might say, oh, but Jerry, you don't want the New Day to win. You know, my the way I do reviews is not somewhat who wins and who loses, you know, but I do think that Baron Corbin, from what I've seen, doesn't best suit the money in the bank. We'll have to wait and see, but... Even that being said, there shouldn't be a count out on a pay-per-view. You know, people paid the money to see finishes, good finishes. Um, and that's the problem with this pay-per-view, is that the finishes weren't great, um, to be honest. Um, atrocious, atrocious, absolutely atrocious. Match wasn't even that great either, to be honest. Apart from, like, Kofi Kingston doing the leap of faith, as it were, that was a good spot which <laughs> can be summed up for the entire pay-per-view if you're not a fan of spots you probably wouldn't like this pay-per-view because there was a lot of spots um but yeah um the match was it was a terrible finish and not a great match to be honest with you naomi defeated lana um pretty cheap finish as well uh, um camilla came down with money in the bank distracted lana uh, lana you know uh, was there and uh, Naomi took advantage and she won um, via submission. Um, finish again was terrible. <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> it really wasn't. Um, Jinder Mahal with the Singh Brothers defeated Randy Orton. Now the match itself was actually pretty. It was it was uh, it was some somewhat of a typical Randy Orton. They had like you know. Randy Orton's father there, Ric Flair was there, um, the Singh brothers try and grab Randy Orton's father and stuff, typical shit, you know, Randy, it was pretty funny him throwing the Singh brothers in, in the tables and stuff, but this was pretty much a typical Randy Orton losing match, 
um, Jindam Hall wins um, because Randy Orton starts weighing in the Singh Bullets because they were trying to attack um, his father. And Jindam Hall took advantage and ended up getting the win. Um, so, yeah. Um, match also, I think, went on too long. <laughs> to be honest, I thought the match went on too long. Um, but, yeah, like, it's not even... I don't even have a problem with Jindam Hall winning the championship. It's just it felt a bit it felt a bit cheap it felt a bit cheap to be honest, but you know um it gets some heat in Jinder Mahal so you know but um Brazango defeated the Ascension apparently the Ascension were the guys that attacked them I thought it was gonna be someone actually worth it um whatever, match was like three minutes long, whatever, I actually think I skipped it as well, I was that fucking bored out of my head, um, also, um, uh, Maria and, um, uh, Mike Bennett were, was in this, they're doing this love type thing, don't want to judge it yet, want to see how they do, not really a fan of the whole lovey-dovey kind of, you know, maybe it might, I'll see how it works, you know, I can't judge it at this point in time, um, it's good to see Maria, obviously, back, um, you know, it's good to see her back, but, um, we'll have to wait and see, we'll have to wait and see what they do with that, so, I can't really judge it at this point. Your main event, Baron the Born Corbin, defeated AJ Styles, Nakamura, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens, um, Nakamura came down the ramp, got attacked by Baron the Born Corbin, got beat up, was out for the entire match, um, the match itself was actually pretty decent, some good spots on there, um, AJ Styles did very well in this match, um, Dolph Ziggler actually had a good match as well, <laughs> um, stuff like that, um, Kevin Owens, you know, you saw, you know, seen bits of him, Sami Zayn seen bits of him, I, I felt, you know, um, the match itself was actually pretty good, you know, I think, people, you know, because they'll see the result, and, and you know, rightfully so, it, that might disdain what the match is, but I felt that the match was actually well put together, and I actually thought the match was actually pretty decent, um, the end result though, I don't think Baron Corbin should have won, I think ratings are probably going to drop again, because, I just think people just generally don't give a shit about Baron Corbin, to be honest, um, uh, here's the question though, we're going to see a quick cash in, from Baron Corbin's character, it looks like we might see an early cash in, who knows, maybe this Smackdown ban, but by what they're doing, he's probably going to jump Jinder Mahal, or it looks like he might jump Jinder Mahal, and then take the the championship away from him. There's a possibility that could happen. And then that leads into Baron Corbin against Nakamura. Um, they'll probably have Baron Corbin and Nakamura feuding a lot. Um, and stuff like that. Whether between the Baron Corbin Nakamura feud. Whether that's going to last a long time without the championship. We'll have to wait and see. But if they are going to do this. They have to go into the character where the character just takes the opportunity and does it. Not to let it drag out. Um... But we'll have to wait and see. Um, all in all, I'm going to be giving this show a uh, 5 out of 10. Um, this would have probably got a 4 out of 10 if it wasn't for the matches actually somewhat being decent. Um, but at the same time, there was poor finishes. There was really nothing noteworthy apart from Baron Corbin winning it. Um, which even then I still d don't really see a point in, to be honest. Um, he could fail it. I mean, you know, it's not. But I, I do think that's another thing they need to stop doing is people losing money in the bank. Because pretty much a match will be pointless. Um, you know, they did it with John Cena and they did it with, you know, they've done it with other wrestlers where they've lost the money in the bank and it just comes off cheap. Um, so if he is going to win the money in the bank, he should probably win it. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. All in all, not a great pay-per-view, to be honest. I didn't, you know, it had some good spots. You know, there was some somewhat, you know, the main event, with the match put together was actually pretty decent. But to sum the, the whole pay-per-view up, the finishes weren't great. 
um, to be honest. Anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Um, it's currently now four in the morning here in Ireland, so excuse me for my, you know, <laughs> calm demeanor here. But um, there'll be a follow-up video I'll be doing tomorrow um, on Baron Corbin um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, also, if you are new to the channel, I do um, a lot of videos in terms of pay-per-view reviews and Raw reviews and SmackDown reviews as well. Um so if you want to check that out make sure to subscribe and like the video um and share it it'll be much appreciated for me um and thank you guys for watching thank you guys so much for your support this is general jerry on the general jerry channel signing out